that it's normally distributed. But now what I have is two different pieces. I have, I have conditional distributions here. So I have height given that you're a first grader. So I'll say given x is equal to one is normally distributed with a mean of 45, standard deviation of three. So you're gonna write that as 45 comma nine. And then I also have this one given x is zero is normally distributed with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of four. So that will be if I needed to write both of those. So I have conditional distributions here. Okay, so now we're gonna put this all together. I am looking for the probability, so I want probability that x is equal to one given that h is equal to 48. And I know that I can get a probability and not a probability density because this is asking for something regarding a discrete given information about a continuous. So if I write this with Bayes, this is going to become, yeah, so what goes where? Normally, I think you would like to flip them. You'd like to write probability that don't write this yet. You would like to write this given this times probability x is one, but I can't call both of those probabilities. Right, because what is this? This is something about a continuous random variable. The most I know about it is its probability density. And remember the probability of any continuous random variable being an exact value is zero. I don't want to put P in there for a continuous random variable or my, my numerator is automatically zero. I want a probability density. And then I'm dividing through by a probability density down here. Okay, so now I have to calculate all of these pieces. So I know probability, let's do this one first, because this one's not so bad. I know the probability that x is equal to one, because that's just 115 out of 200. So that one we have. Now I gotta think about calculating these probability densities. So I need, let's do this one first, h is equal to 48 given x is equal to one. So this is asking for the PDF of a normal. So I could, well I know that this is normally distributed here with a mean of 45 and a standard deviation of nine. So if I was just doing this on the final, right? I would wanna go look for something that was on the first page of the final, like potentially useful Python output that was something like stats.norm.what? PDF. PDF, and then I'm gonna have to put the z-score in here. So how do I get it in terms of the z-score? Mm -hmm. Good, I have 48, so good. So this is gonna be stats.norm.pdf. And then I'm gonna put in the 48 minus the mean, so the mean for that one is up here, minus 45, divided by three. And that's what I would be looking for. So I'd be looking for stats.norm.pdf of one, somewhere on my output from Python, so or on my, my first page of the potentially useful info. What's, what's your question, Nikki? So let's put it in here just to see what we end up getting. So that's PDF, right? Not PPF, not CDF. Stats.norm.pdf of one is 0.24. I'll say approximately 0.24. Like that. So that's what I'm gonna put right here. Put that here. Now I'm going to have 0.24. And then I'm going to need the denominator. So I'm not done yet. How am I going to get that denominator, that PDF value? 0.24 times 115 over 200. Okay. How do I get the denominator? That's right, Diego. So I'm going to do total probability. So I need to do the same thing. I, I need to basically get 
I'm going to use these two terms, and I'm going to add them to the same idea, but for second graders. That's my law of total probability. So let's write that down, just so we remember. And then we'll look at what we would need to get spit out from Python for that one. Okay, so here, shrink rooted. So now I need f of h equals 48. No. That is going to be f of h no, come back. equals 48 given f of 1 times the probability x is 1. Plus f of h is equal to 48 given x is not 1. And we only have one other option, right? x is 0. If I had a third option, I would keep going with this for my law of total probability. But you can think of this as like, this is given an event, like A, and this is A complement. Right, so that's why I only need two right there, as opposed to going on and adding a third term. Okay, so these two here are what I already have. So this is the 0.24 times the 115 over 200. So now I just gotta figure out this one, and then this is gonna be times 85 over 200, right? All right, so let's put this in. This should be stats.norm.pdf of what? 48 minus 50 over four, right? Because I'm using this distribution. Yep, so negative one half in there. So I'm gonna have stats.norm.pdf of negative one half, which is 0.35. Approximately. Okay, so I'm going to put that all together. So I have 0.24 times 115 over 200 plus 0.35 times 85. I purposely wanted to do one with you where they were combined like this because this is, if you can do this, then you can do those ones where we were doing false positives on COVID tests or those, because those are both the same examples. Right, you're not having to combine the discrete and the continuous. Okay, so at the end of the day, let's see what we get there. We put it all together. And we'll get our probability. 